Hey friends, welcome back. I just got home from a huge shopping trip and since I have taken you meal planning with me, grocery shopping with me, and putting away all my groceries with me, I figured it was time to go through a grocery haul. I haven't actually talked about a whole grocery haul and the things that we buy and where we buy it and all that. So today I'm taking you through an entire grocery haul. Before we get started, it's important to say, my name is Allison and this is my channel. I talk about food and finance and how we live our life on a budget. And I share tips and tricks that might help you pay off debt and become financially free. If that sounds like something that you are interested in, take a look around my channel and subscribe while you're there. Make sure to turn on notifications for videos so you don't miss a thing and check out my Instagram, baby stepping to freedom. So one thing to know about how we do groceries, we go grocery shopping two times a month. The beginning of the month, which is now, we do one huge shopping trip that kind of gets us bulk items that lasts us throughout the month. And then halfway through the month, we go and we get produce and little items that maybe have gone bad or we've run out of to make it through the last of the month. So this trip is our big haul. We typically spend anywhere between four and five hundred dollars a month on groceries for the two of us. We eat a keto diet, so that has made our grocery bill go up a little more than before when we didn't eat keto. When we used to buy more processed foods and pre-packaged foods. Our grocery bill was cheaper, but we decided to start budgeting more for groceries so we could buy more whole foods and less packaged and processed foods. So this grocery haul plus the second half of the month grocery haul will probably put us somewhere around $450 for the month. One thing we do to keep our grocery costs as cheap as possible is we shop around. We have a pretty good system where we have three stores that we shop at and over time we figured that that is really the best deal. We could be shopping more sales maybe and be going to different stores, but this is enough for us. These three stores and not shopping sales is good enough savings for us. So the three stores that we shop at are Smart Food Service, which used to be called Cash and Carry. It's basically a restaurant supply store that sells bulk items at a cheaper price, kind of like Costco on a small scale, mainly geared towards restaurants. Next is Costco. And then finally is Winco Foods, which is, if you're not familiar with Winco, the best store ever. It is just a simple grocery store. They don't bag your groceries for you. They don't have fancy shelving. It's employee owned. And we have found out that Winco has the cheapest groceries for us. We do not have access to an Aldi or Aldi or however you say it. We don't have those here in the Pacific Northwest. So Winco is where it's at. We have done a price comparison between Winco and Walmart groceries and it depends on the item. They're pretty comparable, but overall it seems like Winco has better deals than Walmart. So for this grocery haul here today, we spent $318.79. We budgeted, as you can see in our March budget, $340 for groceries. So we are actually below our budget for groceries this month, which is great because we got a ton of stuff and I'll go through everything that we got pretty soon. Now, let's get started on the haul. So I'm going to go from the order that I shopped, basically. First I went to Smart Food Service. I wanna call it Cash and Carry because that's what it used to be called, but Smart Food Service. Um, we start there because they sometimes don't have items in stock, and so if they don't have it in stock, then we get it at Costco. But Costco always has what we need in stock. Um, so Smart Food Service first, then Costco, and then I finally finish it up at Winco. Winco is where I get most of our produce and smaller items that we don't need in bulk. So we'll go through all of the items we got in this huge grocery haul. All right, here we are. Here's everything from all three stores 
If you hear some ruckus in the back, it's because my cat found the box from Costco. Dewey, he found the box. Let's get started on what I got at Smart Food Service, AKA Cash and Carry. So we always get our bacon from Smart Food Service. It is the best price that we found compared to Winco and Costco. It's also the best quality bacon. So these are five pound packs of bacon. We typically break it up into three chunks, put it in Ziploc bags and freeze it. So got two five pound packs of bacon. Also got a five pound bag of cheddar jack cheese. This was actually on sale. I usually get some sort of blended cheddar cheese. Uh, this was on sale for nine something. Um, usually this lasts us, well it definitely lasts us the month, but it doesn't go bad. Um, sometimes if it seems like it has been a while since I bought this, then I will take what's left in the bag, split it apart, put it in the freezer so it can last longer. But typically this type of pre-shredded cheese does not go bad in the time that we eat it. Next, this is something that we don't normally get, but I just really felt like I wanted it this time and we could fit it in the budget. I got some sugar-free syrup. So I got raspberry, sugar-free white chocolate, and sugar-free hazelnut. So this is for our coffees. So we aren't as likely to go out and get coffee. We have a Nespresso so we can make lattes at home. And now we can make flavored lattes at home even better. And for those lattes, we have half and half and heavy cream. This is for not only our coffees, but also cooking. We also get our salad dressings at Smart Food Service. This size salad dressing is actually cheaper than the smaller size at both Winco and Walmart. So we get these big bottles, they last a while, and they're a better deal than the smaller ones. And we love the Lighthouse brand dressing. So blue cheese and ranch. I also at Smart Food Service got this shrimp. It was on sale, which made it cheaper than Costco as well. They're pretty big shrimp too. And we're gonna have that in some shrimp Alfredo spaghetti squash. So that was everything at Smart Food Service. We spent $98.39 on those items. So it was only a few things and it was still close to $100, but everything is in bulk and we can put it in our freezer and they'll last us more than the whole month. Next, I went to Costco. At Costco, we normally get most of our frozen meats. The biggest thing that we get at Costco is this big bag of frozen chicken breasts that usually lasts us a couple months, so this month we had to get another one. I also got these meatballs, which I haven't gotten before, but they were on sale and they looked really good, so um, I got that, and that will be an easy, quick dinner if we are running low on things or if we don't have time to make what's on the meal plan, whatever. I also get these five pound packs of, well, they're individual, one pound individual packs of ground beef, five total. Um, then keep that in the freezer as well. Get this big thing of Tillamook cheddar cheese and we just keep it wrapped in this shrink wrap packaging and only pull it down as we use it. That usually lasts us a couple months and it doesn't go bad as long as it's still in this packaging. And then of course we have to get the Tillamoos. I actually don't think that's what they're called anymore. They used to be called Tillamoos. They're just small sliced pieces of cheese. They're essentially this, but more convenient. They're like cheese sticks, but cheddar cheese instead of mozzarella cheese. Also at Costco, got a bottle of avocado oil. They have a new brand of avocado oil. This is different from what they've had in the past. And then also I like to get this canned chicken breast and that is good for lunches when I don't have any leftovers. I can make chicken salad, that kind of stuff. All of these things at Costco were $110.93. So once again, this is mostly stuff that will last us the entire month or more, with the exception of this. We'll probably eat this in the month, but everything else will last us into next month. Finally is Winco. Winco is where we get smaller items and most of this stuff will only last us the month. So I'll start in the very back. 
We've been getting this too good low sugar yogurt, which is really tasty. There's like two or three carbs in a container, which is the lowest carb yogurt you can find. We also got some peanuts and sriracha almonds, hot and spicy pork rinds. Those are a good snack. So that's kind of our snack area. Other than that, we really don't get snacks. Um, and I guess the cheese is another snack. So those are our main snacks that we get. We also like to have these Gatorade Zeros on hand. They're just kind of a tasty, sweet treat, but also electrolytes when we're feeling like we need some extra electrolytes on the keto diet. And then this black cherry seltzer was on sale for like $2.50 for 12, so I got some of those. Winco always has a really great deal on these tilapia fillets. They're like $5 for this huge thing of tilapia. So I got that, we're gonna have fish tacos, spaghetti squash, iceberg lettuce for wedge salads, and cauliflower, carrots, zucchini, asparagus, eggplant, onions, avocado, tomatoes, mushrooms. This is kale. Um, radishes I use in the beef stew that I'm going to be making and they kind of take the place of potatoes. So radishes. I'm gonna make another soup with spinach and um, zucchini and mushrooms. So that's what the spinach is for. The angel hair coleslaw is going to be for our fish tacos, which will have the tilapia fillets. Their cheese shell fish tacos, so I'll use this cheese until it gets, or I'll cook it till it gets crunchy, then put the tilapia on it with some angel hair coleslaw that I mix with some mayonnaise and lime juice and other seasonings. So that, I believe, is all of the produce. That's pretty much all the produce that we eat for the first half of the month. Most of that will be gone by the time we go grocery shopping next. This is something that I don't normally get, but I got this time. This is a tri-tip. It was $11.86 for this huge tri-tip. I'm gonna marinate it and cook it on our barbecue for Aaron's birthday, so we'll have that. I'm also gonna make beef stew. I got two packs, so then I can make a bigger batch. Most of the food that I make is big batches, so then we eat them um, as leftovers for lunches the rest of the week. So it'll be a big batch of beef stew with the um, radishes, kind of as potatoes, carrots, onions, all that, some of the mushrooms. Um, Italian sausage will go in a soup that I'm going to make with the kale and some onions and bacon. And then mozzarella cheese is going to be for eggplant parmesan, which the eggplant is here. Cream cheese, just because I'm almost out of the cream cheese that I got last month, but I still have some. I didn't need another big container. I usually get that at Smart Food Service, but this time I just got a small thing of cream cheese just to last the rest of the month. And then finally, our favorite thing at Winco, fresh ground almond butter. So Winco has a huge bulk food section and you can make freshly ground almond butter, which is super tasty. So there we have it, our full beginning of the month grocery haul. This haul is going to last us well through the month with just having to replenish mainly this stuff back here, the um, produce items, but all of this stuff down here will last us definitely through the month and probably into next month as well. We spent $318.79, which is under budget, which is great because if I forgot anything, which I most likely did, I will be able to run to the store and I don't have to run around to all these cheaper stores, which are farther away. I can go to some closer stores that are usually a little bit more expensive because I'm under budget, which is awesome. So let me know if you guys liked this grocery haul and I will do them more often if you would like to see it again. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.